Hello students, welcome back to our maths class. Today I will start with a new chapter for you all that is integers. Okay, first children let us understand what is integers and now where we need to use the integers. Many times children you see that there are so many situations where we need to use the negative numbers. Especially when you talk about the temperature. The temperature children we usually we have positive and negatives also right. So negative numbers are the numbers with the negative sign. These numbers are less than 0 here. Okay. For example we use negative numbers to represent temperature. And many times children we use negative numbers even to indicate the below and upper so many times ok. So let us go further what it is. Integers. The collection of whole numbers and negative numbers together is called the integers. Children specifically I will first start with the basic part coming to integers but first we should know what are natural numbers then coming to whole numbers and then to integers. Natural numbers basically are the counting numbers that we start from 1, 2, 3, 4 and infinitely. Now you can see here natural numbers 1, 2, 3 and further the, when we make the group bigger by adding 0 to natural number children we get the set of whole numbers. So whole numbers is a set of all the natural numbers along with 0. Now going further Further children when we use the whole numbers and their negatives. Negatives means if uh, plus 1, the negative of 1 is minus 1, negative of 2 is minus 2. So using all the whole numbers and their negative numbers that forms the collection of integers. Right children? So once again the set of all the whole numbers and the negative numbers gives us the new set that is integers. Okay, so let us go further. Now, children, this integers we can represent them on the number line also. How? You will be thinking that, right? Children, you know this number line we have learned here. That number line you can see here where in the center we have 0. Usually we have learned uh, only the whole numbers, right? So whole numbers we start with 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. That means these are the positive integers and their negatives that are on the left side. You can see positive integers are on the right side children. So you can see this is your right side where we have positive integers from 1 to infinity, okay? On the left side of the number line we have negative integers children. This is your left side. So left side we have negative integers. You can see the negatives of the whole number. 1 is positive. The negative minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4 and on the left side also children it will go infinitely. So both the side, positive side and the negative side children we have infinite numbers. On the right side all the positive and on the left side all the negative integers. Okay. So let us go further with that. Now you can see we mark all the positive integers on the right side with the same distance. You can see the distance between each number has to be equal children. Okay. That is 1, 2, 3 and so on. You cannot write 2 first, 3 first and so on. It has to go in order and the distance between each number should be equal. Moving to next. Now next topic children we have ordering of integers. Now how you will order the integers which is smaller, which is greater, which is equal. Okay. You can see here also we can use the number line children. The number gets smaller. You can see this side all the negative numbers are here. Right. And this side all the positive integers. Now one thing. Any number on the right side on the number line is greater than the number on its left. Children very important that the number that are on the left side of the number line that is always smaller and the number on the right side of a number line is always greater. Okay. For example children you see 5 is to the right of 2. If you compare 2 and 5 here. 
2 is on the right side and phi is on the left side. That means the number that is on the right side that is phi that is always greater. You can see here phi is greater than 2. Similarly, if I talk about the negative numbers children, if I compare minus 2 and minus 1, which number is on the right side? Minus 1. That means in negative children, the number that is smaller is always greater. Very, that is a clue to understand. If you understand right and left on the number line, you can decide on that basis also. And secondly, in a negative number, the smaller number is always greater. If you compare minus 4 and minus 3, children, minus 3 will be greater because it is on the right side of minus 4. Okay. Let us go to the next topic. Now, children, some facts about integer. Something you have to understand about the integers here. First point, any positive integer is always greater than any negative integer. Children, positive numbers are always greater than the negative integers. Second, 0 is less than every positive integer. Children, if I ask you which is greater, phi or 0, you understand that phi. Okay, because phi is on the right side of the 0, so phi is always greater. Next, 0 is greater than every negative integer, children. Here 0 is less than positive integers, but 0 is greater than the negative integers. Why? Because 0 lies on the right side of the negative integers. Therefore, 0 is greater than all the negative integers. Next, 0 does not come in any of the negative and positive integer. Children, this is very important part to learn that 0 is in the center, neither on the, you can call it as positive integer, neither you can call it as a negative, neither negative nor positive. It is in the center. It does not include in positive side and negative side. So, we call it as a neither positive nor negative integer. Okay. 0 is neither positive or a negative integer. Moving to next. Now children learning the next topic that is successor and predecessor. Now, if we move 1 to the right, then it gives the successor of that number and if we move 1 to the left, then it gives the predecessor of that number. Children, successor is what? After number. In very simple language, you understand it as after number. Okay? And we add plus 1 to the number to get the successor. Similarly, children, for the predecessor, that is before number, you can call it in simple. This is your before number. And to get the predecessor, we subtract 1 from the given number. Okay? You can see here, as I told you, right and left, if you are moving, go, taking successor, move one step to the right and predecessor move one step to the left. Now for example children here the number 2 example I have taken number minus 2. If I want the predecessor that means I have to subtract minus 1. So minus 1 uh, minus 2. If I move one step you can see here predecessor means moving on which side children? Left side. So one step to its left. What will be the number answer? Minus 2. 3. Okay. Now, if I want the successor of minus 2, means after number. So, I have to move one step to the right. What I will get? Minus 1. Okay. One more example, children, we have here. 3. If I want the predecessor of 3, where is 3 here? You can see, I have to move one step to the left side. I will come to 2. And if I want successor of 3 children, I have to move one step to the right. That means, I will go on the right side and I will come to 4. Simply you can also add 1 and subtract 1 to get the successor and the predecessor. Okay. That is very simple of it. Now children, we have to learn the basic and the most important rules of addition and subtraction of integers. This is a very important part children. You need to understand. This will help you throughout your studies. Okay. So, first thing, if two integers have same sign, then add the integers and put the same sign. Now, when you are adding two integers, 
okay what i have to do but two integers have same sign you can see here i have taken two integers 3 and 4 they both have same sign that is addition sign you can see children so what i have to do i have to add the numbers 3 plus 4 i will get 7 and i have to put the same sign same sign means both are positive when there is no sign with the number we always consider it as plus so i have to put here plus if you don't put plus sign it is understood that it is a positive integer okay similarly if you I want i can take another example also i have taken here you can see here minus 2 and minus 3 children here you can see both the numbers have the same sign that is minus and minus so when the sign is same add the numbers so 2 plus 3 5 and put the same sign that is of minus so you will get your answer as minus so remember this thing children two integers having same sign you have to add them and put the same sign whether it is a plus whether it is subtraction oh plus and minus depends on the given question the next point if two integers have different sign now children we are talking here about opposite sign then subtract the integers and put the sign of greater number okay now here we are talked that where both the numbers are having same sign but now what if it is different you can see here 6 minus 4 6 is having no sign that means it is plus plus and minus two opposite sign whenever both the numbers have opposite sign children subtract the numbers so 6 minus 4 what you will get 2 and most important thing put the sign of the greater number which is the greater number 6 what sign 6 is having plus so you will put here plus ok plus 2 or only 2 both are same only one more thing minus 7 plus 5 children minus and plus 2 opposite sign so you have to subtract the numbers subtract the numbers children so 7 minus 5 2 ok and which is the greater number 7 what sign 7 is having minus so your answer will be minus 2 ok children once more I will recall the same thing when two integers have same sign add them and put the same sign children second point when the two integers have different sign subtract them and put the sign of the greater number this is the most important thing which will help you throughout your studies now many times children you will see that when there are two like sign placed side by side without any numeral in between then two like sign will give positive sign children you can see here there are two signs here together and there is no number between this two sign now you will think what to do in this condition very simple children you have to apply the rules of plus and minus here children here we have the rules that is when you have two plus and plus the result will be plus when you have plus and minus you will get minus when it is two minus again you will have plus as a sign and when you have opposite it is minus so same sign the sign will change to plus you can see plus and plus plus minus and minus again it changed to plus but when the both the sign are different that is opposite the two signs will change into minus sign that is you can see here here children you can see both the sign are same when the sign are same it will be changing to plus okay so here you can see the next step it is I have written that 3 minus and minus you will, it will change to plus 4 so 3 plus 4 you get your answer as 7 ok let us go to the next now children when two unlike sign are placed side by side without any numeral in between then the two opposite sign will give you negative sign as I told you in the previous uh, topic that when the two signs are together but there is no number between them when the two signs are same it will change to plus but here children you can see both plus and minus two opposite sign are there together and there is no number between them 
in such condition two opposite sign will convert into negative sign that means the next step we have to write minus 3 plus minus minus 7 ok now what is there minus minus now you have to forget this step and concentrate on the new step only ok according to that both the numbers have same sign remember the first rule when the numbers have same sign we have to add them and put the same sign so 3 plus 7 10 and sign that is same sign that is minus 10 you have to remember all the rules children then only once you understand it will go very smoothly now children addition and subtraction of integers we will learn here on the number line also ok very easy the same concept to be used here for the number lines also now first we will learn about addition of integers on a number line first when we have to add two positive integers that is 3 plus 4 now if I want to show this addition of two integers on number line children first we need to draw a number line marking from 0 till whatever the highest number you need here is 7 so you can uh, draw and mark 0 to 7 on a number line now after drawing the number line what you have to do the first step now what is the first number into your question 3 ok so from 0 you move to the 3 that is here ok you reached 3 now what you have to add in that plus 4 so you remember that when we have to add we have to move on the right side so we have to move 4 steps from 3 on the right side so from 3 we will move 1 2 3 and 4 so we will reach where 7 ok so how you have to draw it mark it children so you start you have to put a arrow like this moving till 7 put a arrow here and you can write here 3 plus 4 which is equal to 7 ok so start with the number given on the number line that is 3 plus so move on the right side how many step 4 step so from 3 4 steps on the right you will come to 7 ok let us go for the next one now addition of two negative integers children you can see two negative integers I have taken which I have added ok as I told you draw the number line here the negative numbers are only there so you start on the left side of the number line marking the numbers from 0 till minus highest whatever number you require here minus 7 so you can draw till minus 7 or minus 8 that is up to your choice ok now as I told you start from the initial number that is minus 2 so from 0 where you minus 2 is here ok minus 2 now plus and minus plus and minus both together children as I told you remember the rule minus 2 plus minus minus 5 it will become that means minus I got here that means I have to move on the left side ok so from minus 2 I will move on the left side how many steps 5 steps so I will start 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. 5 will come on minus 7. So here you can write minus 2 minus 5 equal to minus 7. Ok. So start from minus 2. Move on the left side. 5 steps. You will come to minus 7. Let us see what is next. Addition of 1 negative and 1 positive integer children if a positive integer is greater than the negative integer what we can do here see here you can see the positive number is greater and the negative integer is smaller but we have to add anyhow as I told you here uh, remember the rules of plus and minus children two signs are placed side by side without any numeral in between that means the two opposite sign will give us the negative sign it will be like this 6 minus 2 ok it becomes like this 6 minus 2 now we have to start with positive 6 so you can draw a number line marking the numbers so ok we have to start from 6 so let us go to 6 here you get 6 ok now what is next minus 2 
minus 2 means moving 2 steps on the left side. So, from 6 I will move 2 steps 1 and 2 where do I read children you can see here at 4. So, 6 minus 2 I will get 4 ok. If you know the rules of plus and minus it will be easy for you to do it. Now, if a negative integer is greater than the positive integer children here minus 5 plus 4. Here you can see that is the first number given to us is minus 5. So, on the left side of the number line will come first from 0 we will start from minus 5 ok. I care marked here my first marking on minus 5. Now, plus 4 plus always goes on right side. So, on the right side children move how many steps? 4 step 1, 2, 3 and 4 that means I will reach here to minus 1. Okay, so remember which side to move that is very easy. Now, subtraction of integers on the number line. Now, subtraction of two positive integers children. Okay, you can see 5 and 2 both are positive integers to be subtracted here. Okay, you can see here we have to first start with 5 that are positive side that is on the right side of the number line. So, we have reached here till 5 then minus 2 means on the left side we move 2 steps. So, from 5 move 2 steps on the left will reach to 3 ok. Remaining concept it remains the same only if you have to learn the conversion of the signs. Now, subtraction of 2 negative integers you can see 2 negative integers I have subtracted here if I solve them children you can see minus 8. Now, 2 negative signs are placed side by side it will give me a positive sign that is minus 8 plus 12 ok. Now, I have to begin with minus 8 that is on the left side of the number line. You can see here on the number line minus 8 is here ok. So, plus 12 means I have to move 12 steps on the right side because plus is there I have to move 12 steps on the right 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12 where do I reach till 4. You can see here. So, minus 8 minus minus 12 will give you your answer as 4. Next. Now, subtraction of 1 negative and 1 positive integer. Now, to subtract a positive integer from a negative integer. Okay. Uh, you can see the negative integer I have to subtract a positive integer that is 3 ok children. So, I have to begin my number line from where minus 4 ok. So, you can see on the left side of the number line I have taken minus 4 again minus 3 that means again I have to move on the left side 3 steps ok. So, 1, 2 and 3 you can see I am moving here on the left side here and I will reach to minus 7. Ok children, so remember these things very well. One more, to subtract a negative integer from a positive integer. So, this is your negative integer which I have to subtract from a positive integer. So, 4 minus minus 3. Again children you can see 2 signs together here. If I simplify minus minus will become plus. So, 4 plus 3. So, 4 I have to start on a number line. On a number line let us go to 4. I came here to 4 plus 3 moving on the right side 3 step 1, 2 and 3. Where do I reach? Till 7. Ok. So, after the rules are known to you it moves very smoothly. So, with this children we end today's session. Hope you all understood. Thank you and have a nice day.